getting something prepared for iftar. Um, I got this yesterday, and I thought, you know what, we'll make it today. Um, I've never had this before. I don't know what it's going to taste like, so um, I'm asking my wife to wash it. And then hopefully when we go shopping, get some, uh, maybe, what do you call it, some marinating sauce or something, so we could uh, infuse that with that sauce. So, uh, yeah, so what we got here, we've got here, we, what's it called, where's it go? We've got lamb, ribs, steak, four grills. So, there we go. I've never had it before, my first time. So I don't know what it's going to taste like. And as you can see, there we go. So there's literally ribs, and then I don't know how much meat is on there, but it seems like a fair, a fair bit. Yeah, so that's what's cooking for iftar. That's one of the things, and I'm sure there's gonna be many others. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So hopefully, guys, I'll see you guys soon. As you can see now, these have been washed. And uh, all they need now is some marination and then, and then it's time to cut them. Um, but the marination, apparently I need to go out and shop to get some sauces. And uh, just been watching TikTok and I've saw some, an amazing recipe for some samosas. You know, it's just uh, a, a different twist on it. So. Um, Thinking about making them, not today probably, maybe sometime soon, but you can use the filling that they've made for that, you can use for puff pastries, you can use for sandwiches, so uh, it's quite versatile, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be amazing that one. When I do it, I don't know, but hopefully inshallah it will be in Ramadan, um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I just can't wait for those ribs um, to, uh, to cook those and try them. Let's get let's get that here. Yeah. We are shopping in uh, Euro Grocers for some stuff for uh, our iftar. Let's get some fruits, the veggies, and some other stuff. I don't know what, but. Uh, Let's see what we can find. Change of dates, guys. So many. We've got the ones with almonds and chocolate in. So we're thinking of making uh, the impale. We've got the gates ones. This place is packed out because of Ramadan. We're on the fourth day, so uh, it's mega busy. It's uh, never seen this type of rush before every time I come in here. Not many people, but today is mega busy. So we're looking at some, uh, I don't know what my wife is looking at. For Dame Bure in uh, the Laziza one, but Laziza seem to don't do it. So uh, we'll have to stick to Gates, I think. Yep. They've got a national brand. They've got Sean, I think it is. So, uh, yeah. So I think it'll have to be Gits. Uh, Me and my wife are just making it easier for herself because we've got quite a lot of things to make today. So we just try to do it the easier way. Let's keep hunting. Uh, strawberry custard flavor. Yay. They've got mango, they've got Vanilla flavour, they've got pineapple, banana, you name it, they've got it. So I'm on the hunt for some marination for those ribs. Whether I can find it or not, I don't know. What what do you need? Don't know which one to get, they've got so many sauces up there, they've got the Aki steak chop, they've got the Mumtaz brand, they've got Tropics, they've got Aminas. Um, I don't know. What would you guys recommend for future? they got Regal. I don't know. Too much choices. I just want a small bottle as well. I don't want it too big. Um, otherwise, it's just going to go to waste. So, 
So guys, give me your recommendations in the comments below, please, for any good marination sources, ready-made. What I want to say is never shop on an empty stomach because you tend to pick up everything and ev anything. The meat side, I'm just interested. This looks so yummy, guys. Let me give you a glimpse. Jimmy Baikonini or Kurori. These are massive. Never had this one before. Any then, Ajayan? Huh? Okay, then the freezer is not How tasty does that one look? That one doesn't look appetizing due to the shape of it. It reminds you of something else. Mm. Amazing. So we've got the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the ribs coated in some masala that my wife added. I don't know what they are. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. Just a little bit, just to give it a, a bit of a, a quiet taste. We're into the oven and hopefully let it cook for a bit and uh, take it from there. So my wife has just started to prepare for iftar uh, because otherwise it's going to be a long day. And if we don't do it now, then uh, it's not going to get done. So we have to start a little bit early. I've got something else to make as well. Um, and I'll show you that later. So whilst my wife prepares the uh, pagodas, I'm going to be preparing the egg flan. So, while we're done, I've whisked, whisked up some eggs, about, I think it's five to six, I can't remember now exactly how many, between five to six. And, uh, and this is where the preparation starts, guys, so let's go. So now, in this, we're going to put some cheese in I think I've shown you this uh, recipe before, uh, but I've just put some extra cheddar cheese on the slices. That's because I had something remaining. I didn't want those to go to waste, so I put those on. All it needs now is some double cream on top, a little bit of that, just a sprinkle, and then it goes into the oven. Uh, that's it, and that's your egg flan done. It's 16:37, so the good even get the it was a cold little, and cheese uh, on the side of the oven and. Just uh, a couple of things left that are in the oven, like the ribs and the egg flan, that's all going to be made. Um, other than that, I think we're, we're on time. And the chips, so the chips are ready to get made, yeah. Yeah, other than that, perfect timing. An hour left, we should be done within next, I think, 45 minutes, hopefully, fingers crossed, or maybe 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, then we will have to do is, is uh, wait for iftar, do the bar. And bismillah. Okay guys, in a bit. I think, I'm just taking the ribs out guys, I think these guys have done. Can you see? Ooh, bismillah. 
nice and hot there. has been made and I can't wait to show you guys I know, I know you've seen it before but there's just something I like eggplant because it's a childhood memory from school days when we used to get it so that's the reason why I like to make it and here we go That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Come on, guys. And uh, trust me, you guys will absolutely love it. And uh, I've shared the recipe with you guys before, so uh, definitely try it, man. I'm telling you now, it's, it's, just, it's just one of those that uh, gets made probably every now and then not too often not long to go now i think it's about six to eight minutes to go and uh, here we go guys that's the front that has been done maghrib minamaz has been prayed and my food has been plated up here we go we got chips egg flan two pakoras and a rib and that's what it is about guys not too much just enough to uh, satisfy my tummy and um, the good thing about this Ramzan this year is that I'm not eating a lot at all whether you consider that as a lot of food I don't know I don't I don't I don't think so but uh, yeah I've not I've not had that much to eat so this is what the fourth fast that we're doing so yeah it's been good so far I've not I've not had a lot to eat at all, each um, so far, so but maybe early days, yeah, might change. Might start eating a bit heavier than usual. But uh, anyway, let's get this down me, and inshallah we'll see you on the next vlog, guys. You've been watching Mr. Shortai. I will see you, hopefully, inshallah, tomorrow, guys. Bye.